Welcome to Win Online, your channel for educational videos. This is lesson number four of our spoken English course. And today we will learn how to speak on the telephone. Speaking on the telephone can be a challenge to many new English speakers. There are many reasons for this. There is no body language. People are often nervous when speaking on the phone. People might speak quickly and be difficult to understand. Telephoning includes uh, learning a number of special phrases as well as focusing on listening skills. Some of the most important phrases include how to answer the phone, how to ask for others, how to connect and how to take messages. Practice your telephone skills using the short conversations provided in today's lesson that focus on several everyday situations. This dialogue is between a child and an adult. Notice how the child isn't shy about asking the speaker politely to repeat names and numbers to ensure that she gets the right information. Hello? Hello. Who's calling, please? This is Asim Bilal. Could I speak to Muhammad Ali, please? I am a friend of his. Can you please hold? I'll just call him. Sorry, Daddy is out at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes. Can you ask him to give me a call? Of course. Could you please give me your number? My number is 039-877-6432. Three, two, one. Uh, could you repeat that, please? Certainly. That's zero three nine eight double seven six four three two one. Okay, I'll make sure Daddy gets your message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. This telephonic conversation is about making a dinner reservation at a restaurant. You will notice that the language is rather informal, but there are some important differences from face-to-face -face conversational English. Good evening, B-Cube. How may I help you? Hello, I'd like to make a dinner reservation for Friday. Certainly, I'd be happy to help you with that. How many people are there in your party? Uh, there'll be four people. And what time would you like to make a reservation? Let's say at uh, 7 o'clock. I'm afraid we don't have anything available then. We could seat you at 6 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Oh, okay. Uh, let's make the reservation for 8 o'clock. Fine. 8 o'clock on Friday evening for four people. May I have your name? Yes, it's Umar. Is that Umar with a U or an O? Umar with a U. Thank you. Great. I have a table for four reserved for you at 8 o'clock on Friday evening. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We'll see you on Friday. Yes. See you then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now you will listen to a conversation between a parent and school staff. Pay attention to how the speakers ask for and provide information in this conversation. Good morning, elementary school. This is Hajra. How may I help you? Good morning. This is Maria Sheikh. I'm calling for my daughter, Ayma Sheikh. She's not feeling well today. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it's not too bad. No, no. She has a little fever and a cough. Nothing too serious. Well, I hope she feels well soon. Thank you. Do you think I could get her homework for today? Which grade is she in? Grade 5. I'm especially concerned about math and science. Okay. Is it all right for me to give your email address to the teachers? They can then send the homework along later today. That would be great. Do you have my email on file? Just a moment. 
we have maria at gmail dot com. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Okay, I'll make sure her teachers get your message and email. Thank you very much. I hope Ima feels well soon. She should be fine by tomorrow. Thanks for your help. My pleasure. Have a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's all for today. Practice each dialogue with a friend or classmate a few times. Next, write your own telephone dialogues. Go into another room and use your phone to call your partner. Practicing by using a real phone will make future conversations much easier. The script of the conversations and the vocabulary is provided in the description. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to our channel, like, share and comment.